Hey everybody, uh, this is a camera angle I'm going to put on my YouTube channel. So there's another camera right here that you're not going to be able to see because this was recorded live on my Facebook channel. So give any of these a subscribe if you like them. Otherwise, I think I'll just uh, get to making pots. Cool.
So I put that little extra piece on the bottom where I made two cuts because I'm going to use some of that clay later on in the process to prevent cracking. It's kind of hard to describe. But to make a pot, it's a long process, so you need to think ahead when you're making the pot. Pottery questions. Why do I prefer a kick wheel as opposed to an electric wheel? Um, I feel like I have more control and I like historical st styles of pottery and wheels like these have been used for over a thousand years. I just kind of like being part of that tradition. Yeah where I cut the pot twice the pad of clay will peel off after these dry for at least a few hours, sometimes 24 hours. Do I make urns? Um, yeah, I have two urns in process right now that are already sold that I just need to, I need to finish glazing. <clears throat> but I don't make them very often. Yep, this is porcelain clay. This is called bee clay, which is just the name of the clay. I'm not really sure why, but it's a porcelain with grog. Any other pottery questions? Does my right leg get more muscle? Not really. Maybe a little bit. The only time I've actually seen the muscle significantly bigger was when I was practicing for the Guinness World Records title. Porcelain now rather than bee clay. Bee clay is a type of porcelain, it's a brand of porcelain. Is it as soothing for me to do pottery as it is for you to watch? Um, not really, no. Soothing is not the right word for it. For me, it's, uh, it's definitely work, it's definitely concentration, and I mean, this is a career, this is a job, so I take it really seriously. Um, and it's, soothing's probably not the right word. It's more like meditation but meditation you have to really try at. You have to really put a lot of effort into. this spiral moves up the side of the mug every single one's a little bit different and if I'm lazy about it and not concentrating it might not be as wavy and if I try to make it too wavy it'll collapse on itself if the walls are too thin it'll collapse on itself and if they're too thick then the mug will feel kind of wonky after it's finished <clears throat> With the presence fam, spread essences, presently collecting fans. Post the pressure, pre-selected, the best in the land. Misconceptions get corrected when I flex it, damn. 
Excuse me for feeling it. I'm in less of a deficit. Guess I'm healing if my breath is resonant. I press the ceiling, get lifted. We all deal with the whole lot. I'm trying to flow till I'm holding my full stop. Show soul, play my role, dance with no socks, no stress. Yeah, I unhitch my giddy up. It's just some fun shit, but gotta lift me up. It's just something for a summer day. Stay smooth. Just something for your earbuds make you say, oh. Just started, so I got to say, stay tuned. Uh -huh. It's a bad call to keep swim out of the game. They tried to tell Jay Will he should stay in his lane. Behind my back, whip a pass off my elbow. Making girls jump and take shots of jello. Just to tell your friends that they really ought to hear them. Mr. Bosh, a handshake whenever they get near him, Mr. Hugs. Yeah, come on, friends, get some the nice young lease. That's what my sense is. Ooh, I'm peaked, I savor the summit. Don't know if I'm deep, but I'm able to plummet, though. This summer's different, I'm feeling a hundred. I see what I might be, it's time to become it. Peace on the patio, Gabe's after taking this rap on the stage. For the pack, I'm living it. I track the takes, thank Nick for mixing it. Save like the vision for winter, then revisit it. It's just some for a summer day, stay smooth. Just some for your earbuds, make you say, oh. Just started, so I got to say, stay tuned. Last couple songs have been new songs. That last one was by Jim Swim, and this one's by Usus. Some of my friends who make music.
Any pottery questions out there? How many cosmic mugs can I normally get from a mound of clay? About 20, maybe 22. I'm getting ready, warming up, absorbing, loving, having fun again. Everyone I know is getting drunk and feeling loving here. We feel the vibes, feel alive, write the rhymes. I'm grinding for diamonds, designing lines with my mind. I'm finding and dotting eyes, crossing T's in my sleep. I'm steady, breaking necks. All you see is all you need, we been on repeat for like three, four weeks. All I hear is the spirit when we stare into the feet. Yeah, you can't stop us now. We big popping now. Dropping styles while you considering dropping now. And you know we gon' be rolling it up. The dope is the drug. Show it, love it, don't mend it up. I'm just a kid, grooving in a onesie. Doing it for funsies. All the cuties love me for what I got. It's too hot just to like a lot. Chakra seem to light up every time that I cipher rock. I hear my name on, saying rave on like sun raw, man. Don't make me put my cape on. Uh, come and feel the vibration. Live from space time, it's the child mind race. it was made back when I was still in grade school. <laughs> I bought this wheel used from, from my teacher. He was upgrading so he sold me his old wheel. Any other pottery questions? type of clay. It's a brand of clay. It's a type of porcelain. Yeah, I use high fire clay. Fired up to 2000, about 2300 degrees. What's the benefit of having a wheel I spin manually versus electrically? Um, benefit. I feel like I have more control. I feel like I work up higher because I learned to work off of this mound of clay too. Um, I feel like it's more unique. It's tied to history. Very few people work with this type of pottery making anymore. Most potters use electric wheels. There are plenty of potters who use kick wheels, but most potters use electric wheels, so it's it's harder to use in some respects, and I like that. 
do I do apprenticeships? Uh, nope, we hire student workers, and for the first time we hired a student worker who's a, um, who's a potter, who's interested in making some of her own work. So she'll start in June. But her main tasks, tasks will still be to assist with Jericho pottery production. And she's a student. So she'll, uh, she'll mostly be helping these pots get through the kiln, as opposed to making her own work. But we're testing that out for the first time. Is the grog working or not cracking the way I thought? Yeah, the grog, this, this clay that has grog in it, has reduced the cracking significantly. And the clay is just really soft, so it's a little bit easier for me to throw softer clay. It's a little more enjoyable. And this bee clay with grog that I've been getting from my clay company, really soft and really nice to, really nice to use. Do I get ingredients to make my own glazes? Do I buy a certain brand? I make, I get ingredients to make my own glazes. So I mix them from custom recipes that I get from books. And then I test. I learned the process of testing glazes so I could kind of adjust when, uh, when the glazes are too drippy or not drippy enough or when they have flaws or problems. I can adjust the recipe and the thickness and, because I mix them up from raw ingredients. Uh, no, my hands don't hurt, but sometimes my forearms will get really tight or your back will start to be, get stiff from sitting here for hours. Um, so stretching helps, yoga helps. Even just five or ten minutes of stretching before and after you hop on and off the wheel or in between throwing sessions, that really helps. What is grog? Grog is clay that's been fired and then pulverized into a powder and then added back into the clay. And you do that because the, the grog has already shrunk since it's been fired. So it reduces cracking. It's going out on me. It's getting cold. What then it shiver I'm sitting there. Because it's cold outside. I'm tired and sick of this winter. Porcelain clay looks gooier than stoneware. Kinda is. It's a good way to describe it. It is a little bit gooier. Imagine really sticky butter mixed with sand. That's kind of what this feels like. different types of clay more difficult to work with than others. Yeah, porcelain tends to be a little more difficult to work with, but this porcelain has grog in it, and I've had pretty good results so far with this groggy porcelain. Sleepy porcelain.
I'm looking at the pots, what do I think about? It's a good question. Yeah, I'm thinking about the sizes, making sure I don't miss a step. Sometimes the spiral is a little too wide and I want to make it narrower. Sometimes they're too big or too small. So I have to think about all those adjustments. But it gets to a point, once you've made, you know, thousands or tens of thousands of the same form over and over again, your mind starts to wander and you can forget really what you're doing. And I try not to do that because the quality can suffer. But that's why it's kind of like meditation because your mind wanders. It's like, no, 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 bring it back to what you're doing. But it's weird, once you get the movements down, he was tiptoeing back into um, that time. It gets, it gets more difficult to concentrate. So I called out Even though the movements get easier, it gets harder to focus your mind. Saying, hey, are you really that tired of me? It's really just muscle memory. And you're watching after somewhere between 20 and 30,000 pieces of pottery. So once you, like anybody who makes that many pots, it's kind of, it just becomes kind of like breathing. Uh, I turned 31 on May 10th. This song is by a guy named Bob. I, know, I feel bad because I'm always talking over the music, but this music is by Paul Spring. And check one last time. If all these spinning cycles belong in my mind, did you mean what she said? questions? Am I the only one who throws cosmic mugs? I am, yeah. Right now it's just Sienna and I who do all the cosmic mugs. She helps with the softening, unloading and loading of kilns, and sanding and inspecting. So I do the throwing and the glazing, but honestly her steps are just as time consuming, if not more time consuming because there's two rounds of inspection that have to happen before the first firing and then after the glaze firing. 
Is your work patented? You never thought of that. Good question. Nope, artwork can't be patented. And each mug is an individual piece of art made with my hands. So I just don't worry about it. Nope, it's not patented. set up vendor booths at events not really I used to do that I've done that hundreds of times and I'd rather just stay in my studio make pottery in my studio and uh, let people hang out through Facebook live This is a full-time career. I've been doing pottery full-time for about nine years. Family members bug me for free pottery? No, not really. Not nearly as much as strangers. Um, that tool actually is measuring the size. This measures the inside diameter. Do I have a stash of early pieces from when I were when I was learning the ropes? I do. Call them my my family jewels. Uh, I've got boxes and boxes of pottery that I've kept since. Well, the first pot is from seventh grade. I still have that one. I think there's a couple high school pieces, a few college pieces, and most of it is from 2010 to 2019. But yeah, there's boxes and boxes of that stuff. Am I using clay? I am using clay. Porcelain clay. Do I take requests for curtain colors? No. Custom colors? No. When did I know I want to do pottery as a job? Freshman year of college. First semester freshman year of college, I knew I wanted to do pottery as a job. I started out as pre-medicine, and that didn't last very long. With the proud sound. And I could hear the humble To the dark, a deep cold black. Afraid See, this tool measures the height I and the width at the same time. See. And though I work 
not scared and felt so alone I could hear the harmonies beneath I could hear Any other pottery questions? Now has tears in her eyes. For God is Do I have my ticket to go to the moon yet? Father. So a lot more pots to get one of those. Why don't you guys tweet at Elon Musk for and me for Jeff Bezos? Tell him I'll trade him pottery for a moon ticket. Music fills my some moon rocks, bring it back, make some mugs out of them. This clay is very white. Normally I use a uh, stoneware. It's a little more gray, grayish brown. This is this is porcelain, a little more white clay. Cause I can feel his hand. clay or is there anything else you can use to make mugs um, I mean I use clay you can make mugs out of glass out of metal but potters use clay what made me do galaxy inspired pottery it's kind of a long story but I just really liked how images of galaxies and nebulas looked it looked kind of like paintings to me so I would just wanted to make glazes that had had that piece of nature as a source of inspiration. I wanted to do that just because they looked cool. Just like how they looked. Why am I using porcelain? Um, a lot of different reasons. Because um, the colors look a little bit brighter. The finished cosmic bugs, the bodies of them are a little bit softer. This porcelain has grog in it, and it's a uh, seems like it's been S-cracking a little bit less. It's great for sculpture, too. And I've been making some big wall platters lately. Um, so I use this clay for the wall platters and for cosmic mugs. Um, I can use a, a porcelain on a handle that doesn't have any grog, and then it's a little softer on the handle, on the finished mug. And the clay itself is softer. So for some reason, the porcelain is softer. Colors show up different on porcelain versus stoneware. It's subtle, but it is a little bit different. Signed up for two pottery classes. Awesome. Have fun. Um, 
make as many pots as you can. I always tell people to try to uh, um, try to make a lot of pots on the wheel before you get to the glazing and firing process. I mean, obviously, listen to what your teacher tells you because every studio is different. So find a studio with a good teacher who you have a good relationship with and use them and trust their guidance first before someone like me or anyone else. But I, I always tell people to you know, spend a lot of time throwing pottery before you pump out stuff in the kiln. Because if you make like 100 or 200 pieces of pottery and just recycle the clay, and then make more, your 201st pot is going to be much better. And then if you fire that, you're going to be happier with the object you brought into the world. make the same mug no I make all kinds of stuff you can make an infinite number of things out of clay but my job is to uh, work as a production potter so right now it's on the clock mug making time but maybe someday I'll create something that's as popular as the cosmic mugs and um, or a variety that's as popular as the Cosmic Mugs and make more variety. What's the ribbon thing I'm using on the rim? It's a uh, chamois cloth. same design. I've got eight dinner plates over there, about 20 salad plates, and about 50 smaller dessert plates in process right now. So I'll make them in a few different designs, yeah, but our patrons are going to get first pick on all of them. for putting texture on clay um, it helps to be more specific there's an infinite number of textures you can put on a mug you know I can use pattern like uh, you know if I if I use my fingernail here I have one type of texture that line moving up and down if I press with my finger I 
have a different type of texture. These lines here are different types of textures. This is the third or fourth type of texture if I just use my nails and very gently move up and down. That's a fourth type of texture. So it helps to ask more specific questions for texture because there's an infinite number of textures you can put in clay. Clay is so responsive. And as you spend more time making pottery, you'll learn how to talk about clay, you'll learn how to talk about these things and how to design different textures and different shapes and how the shape and texture fit with each other. Like I put these lines down, these imprints a little lower because I'm going to put a handle in between the imprint and the lip. I need to think about that ahead of time. And these imprints, these textures versus this texture versus that texture, these imprints, you can see them on the inside. That means they're gonna change the shape of the coffee when I drink liquid down into there. It looks like a flower after you're drinking from it. Once the liquid goes down to that level, it changes the shape of the liquid. All those things are um, affect, uh, they're all part of the art, I guess. because this is an ancient art form. You're making artistic choices here when you're making pottery. Any other pottery questions? If I designed my own studio, would I have the same layout as now? No, our next studio is going to have a completely different design. If I try to put the handle on before the mug dries, it will just smush the shape. I mean, look how pliable this is. You can't stick something to it when it's this pliable. Part of making pottery is about being patient to let the clay dry to certain processes. Sorry, it's hard to see every comment, they go by kind of quickly. Yeah, the handle is made out of uh, porcelain as well. And this is porcelain with grog right now. And I'm making my handles out of the exact same type of porcelain, except no grog. Because I don't need it. How about a comb? How about a comb? A comb would make a unique texture too. Like I said, there's an infinite number of textures you can make in clay. Kitchen tools work pretty well, actually. Is it okay to keep your shot cups in the freezer? Yep, they're just fine in the freezer. What's Krog? It's Grog, G-R-O-G. Grog is a, uh, a beer drunk by orcs in Lord of the Rings. No, Grog is a, uh, it's clay that has been fired up to a hot temperature, so it's changed from clay into ceramic, and has been pulverized into a powder after being fired and you put it into clay. So this clay has fired clay inside, it has ceramic, grog. And potters use grog to reduce cracking. So the way I make pottery, I have this really common type of um, flaw in my pottery where it's a tiny little crack that opens up sometimes. And maybe about 10%, maybe 15% of the work, a little crack that shows up on the bottom. It's just a little pesky thing that 
Um, doesn't affect the function, but it, it looks kind of it's kind of sloppy. So I've been experimenting with clays um, that don't crack as easily, and this is one of them. So that grog reduces the shrinking because it's already shrunk. So you've added particles to the clay that have already shrunk. Uh, delicious restaurant. Yeah, in pottery, grog is fired clay that you add to reduce cracking. It helps if you ask really specific questions that are really short. I can't see the rest of your question, Deborah. Or Dakota, sorry about that. Does grog affect your hands like sandpaper? It doesn't. No, it feels really nice, actually. It gives the clay a little bit of grit and makes it actually easier to spin on the wheel. Why do I stretch the clay upwards, then push it back down um, to help compress the clay to reduce cracking? And to help homogenize the clay for throwing, for twisting the walls.
moon mugs going out this month. So we mix it up and make a base for this last pot of a medium sized base. We did a base sale for Mother's Day. We made a lot of Nuka Cobalt bases and glazed them all up. versus mugs. The problem with that question is that uh, I can't really explain it very well with words. You just have to watch me make plates or watch me make mugs. They're completely different. Plates can't be thrown off of a hump, at least not dinner plates that are this wide because you need uh, they'll just flop over. So it's, it's kind of hard to describe, but I use a bat. Alright, what's bat exactly? have to just tune into a different video where I make plates. Some things in, in pottery aren't really described very well with words. They're much better described by just watching how the clay moves, watching a demonstration. I have a lot more plates to make this month, so tune in next time and I'll, uh, I'll do a batch of plates. But I need to prepare individual balls of clay for the plates. That's why I'm not just going to make some right now. Spiral days. questions. Alright, like I 
said, I'm streaming on Facebook, and I'll repost another video on YouTube when this is done. Bye-bye.